Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I thought, well, I did have a suggestion to do a sketchbook, so I've decided to do it. I got myself this new sketchbook. It's actually a mixed media sketchbook from Fontaine, Claire Fontaine. And well, I decided to start that sketchbook and to pay, to dedicated it to some maybe vegetables, some fruits, some flowers, trees. I'll see some nature. I won't be doing any landscapes or seascapes in it because it's quite thin. It's actually 180 GSM. And well, that's quite thin and I, I can't do any washes of them. I think the paper would just bend too much. And so I'll be doing the the things that doesn't need a lot of water and well it won't bend the paper so I will be starting this is the first one see I will be starting today and I was thinking to paint some fruits actually kiwi and I did make a sketch for myself so I will also sketch it now on watercolor paper I would usually trace it but I do want to show you how to sketch it so you can do it yourself and well we will start with putting our tape you don't have to put your tape if you don't if you don't want to if in your sketchbook i'm not sure if you're gonna also use a sketchbook or just a regular paper but well i've decided this could be fun you know just every this everyday painting and maybe some practice in our sketchbook and i do i do like the border so i am placing it also in my sketchbook just a second it's easier for me i'm not sure if you can see that i'm sure you can um it's easier for me to place it like this and i will try to find it online this sketchbook and also put it out put the link down in description box and all other materials will be listed as usual you can find them there and i was thinking to myself whether i would make a sketch for you or just sketch it on uh, sketch it right now on um on a video and i decided well i will sketch it i want to show you that it's not really difficult sketch so i believe you can also you can do it with no trouble and you should practice your sketching just a little bit to feel more comfortable and more confident with it. So I've decided to do, there you go. I've decided to do a sketch on, on a video like that. And I will also be using those clips because you know, the paper will bend. It won't, oh, maybe I won't use use it hmm. i'll try to clip a couple of them together it's too maybe i should have started from the middle that's that's something you you could do you could just start maybe from the middle of your sketchbook and then i think you will be able to clip it like this see i've already taped it here so oh, i'm sorry i'm just hitting my mic uh, so I'll, I won't. Oh, sorry. So I won't be doing that, but I will just clip it here. You know, I think that will help from bending it. What am I doing? This is just turning out to be quite difficult. <laughs> there you go. Like this. So now we prepared our we prepared our sketchbook and I will now pre-sketch and you see here is here's the sketch it's pretty simple we will be painting one half of the key one slice of the kiwi and then one half of the kiwi and I've placed it this one a little bit lower see and this one a little bit the further away because you know they are further a little bit uh, more upper because it's further and it makes it look like it's upper and okay we can get to our sketch first we're gonna sketch the this is a little bit lighter one and you know I wanted to move it on the a little bit on the left I want this part to be you know lighter to be clear and like this 
and some like that. Now it's a slice, so you can see from the top. And then we have this part, middle part that is white, like this also. And just you can use uh, you can use any round object if you want to if you doesn't matter if it's around to make that half of the kiwi and this is just a sketch don't don't bother yourself too much with that and we have lines here and this one in the middle just I'm doing I'm starting with one that are straight that are in the middles so that that will make it easier on me and just going in see like this this one is straight this one is straight this one is straight and this or these are under an angle and I think then it's easier to get them to be well semi same <laughs> so this is the slice not really hard right and then the half will start somewhere here like this you know and I'm when I'm sketching I'm not usually <laughs> drawing a line but just this going like that you know some people can do lines I can't I'm not very skilled sketcher so it's easier for me to do it like that and this is also the reason why I usually don't sketch on paper when I'm painting because you know when when I do sketch on a paper I get those lines and they're left here so I usually use a graphite paper but this time I wanted to sketch it because of you you know for you to see how I do it because I really do believe this one is quite easy see those straight lines and then in the middle 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 and again just go in the middle in between of those that is how you will get those parts to be pretty similar they don't have to be the same and this is it this is our sketch so we can move to our painting. I will be using, I wrote here, here for myself, I'll be using sap green, maybe some rose sienna, mars brown, neutral black, primary yellow and white gouache. And first we will be using sap green. And I'm just spraying my paint and I'm using for this one, I will be using Sennelier sap green. So I will just pick it up and place it here on my palette. Quite a saturated amount. See, I'm picking just quite a lot of the paint. Like this. I think this will be enough for now. And we will be using also some primary yellow. Also from Sennelier. Today is the Sennelier day. This one not really a lot, just a little bit. You can use any yellow. This is a primary yellow, so not any particular special yellow. And this is it for now. I will just lighten my sketch. I did it a little bit darker so you can see it. I will now lighten it and for that I'm using this Faber-Castell Art Eraser, Needed Eraser and just lighten my sketch just a little bit especially this middle part you probably won't be able to see it anymore i'm not sure and i'm also picking up just the excess graphite you know from the sketch when i start painting i don't want that graphite on my paper so i will be using a little bit smaller brush not really small but just a little bit smaller and I will start with the round one, with the with the half one, not with the slice, and just go pre-wet it. 
and just the entire half of the kiwi and I'm not sure how long my paper will stay wet because you know it is hot here in my studio so the paper is just always dry so fast see it's already warping just a little bit this paper this sketchbook maybe you could just get yourself some other one a little bit with a little bit thicker paper this one is really really thin I mean not really some people do paint on that paper you know when you're not using um, I'm just gonna pick just a little bit of that sour cream just a little bit for the middle you know part and I will also get just a little bit of primary yellow also for that middle part just a little bit and now it, it can bleed into the rest of the paper that is fine and now we're gonna go around on, next to our border and it doesn't matter if it, go, if it goes a little bit over uh, over also you'll see later on we will be using a little bit of sepia or some burnt sea, neutral not nearly sepia we'll be using Mars Brown yes that's one that's the one I picked for the edges so this this part of the kiwi is pretty pretty dark darker so you can use quite amount of your paint of your green and just let it bleed into the inner part of it and I'm just gonna go around and just again wet it this is quite easy you know and the part that it also has a little bit more is this part right next to the center so we will use a little bit more to paint that part and just just a little bit to go inwards so I'm just topping a little bit on the inwards in between those two darker parts like this just a little bit more on the, on the edges and just smudge it just a little bit inwards and now we're gonna use again that primary yellow and just add a little bit in that middle in that middle part this one just won't bleed into it and we'll just help it a little bit <laughs> I will help it a little bit because there there's probably a little bit more water there and it's warped so it just it's just uh, prevents it from bleeding in I like that just topping in again around until we get the saturation we're looking for like this and again just a little bit of that yellow primary yellow and just make some couple of strokes like this inwards from the up outside to inside and also with this green sap green also like this and the middle part is now see our paint is went into our middle part so I will just try to pick it up just a little bit and I'm gonna use some tissue and pick it up like that see and that is our first for now done and I will just dry it and now that this one is dry we move we'll move on to our slice and again just prevent it and this, the well the procedure is the same but just this is just one half 
and here it is one slice and here it is one half and we're going to use that sepia to go around the edges just let them bleed inwards and if it won't bleed just help it a little bit and go into our slice and this part is lighter right so we're going to use primary yellow for that and see it's just already dry and I'm going to use again sap green go in this part next to the middle and add some sap green here and also again on the edges just smudge it a little bit go inwards outwards and we're going to also use a little bit of that yellow primary yellow and just add it here and again some sap green just going like that and next to our and this is the the slice also finished and we're gonna again use a little bit of tissue paper just to pick up our paint uh, from the from the center I'm gonna I will add a little bit of that yellow here and here on the border we want that to be visible that it's the you know that's the slice going inside and this is it I will also dry this one And now this one is also dry and now I will take the I will take the flat brush and you can use right now white wash but I won't I will just try to pick up the paint and I'll go in between my lines that I sketched earlier I'm gonna just pick up the paint see just slightly just in between those lines that I sketched and this should be easy to lift this is also a cellulose watercolor paper and the paint should really lift quite easily like this see this, oh, that already looks like kiwi and we're gonna do that also in our slice quite fun how it, this slice turns into kiwi straight away and there you go see very easy to leave that up and now we will use a smaller now we will use a smaller smaller detail brush and I will take a little bit of that sap green again and just go in between and just go in between the in between those well those parts that I live where I lift up my paint and I will just we need it to be quite light you know so I'm adding enough of water and I'll just leave excess and just do this those in between the lines we did just adding a little bit of that sap green again you can do this also with a with a round brush that's fine see just a little bit of that sap green 
and between the between the lines and also here this will dry lighter as you know <laughs> And we do want this to look as a slice, so I'm just picking up a little bit of that, a little bit of that primary yellow and adding it here to just make it look as that is the slice, you know, and I'm just gonna also add a little bit mixed with the sap green on the edges here. like this and also here just tapping in some paint like this see how our yeah I forgot here here and here see how our slice already now looks like uh, yes and here on this part how it already looks like a kiwi and there is just one thing missing and we're gonna use a little bit of neutral black I have it here so I'm just picking up with a with that detail brush and here it is just placing it on my palette I'm going to use that just to... and we're going to do it like this just go from the in those parts where the white is now we're gonna no not the white but where the green is and go start here and just press it start here and press it start press it just press it slightly you know and you will get that shape of that how, how that is called seed right go press it just go press it Start here and press it. Start here and press it. And you'll get that, you know, shape. And there are also here some on our half slice. And now we can add them also here on our on the half of our just need a little bit more water here press it start press it start press it and you know in some parts there are just also two of them so you can add two of them one smaller, one maybe larger and I'm just turning my sketchbook around so you can do that also to make it easier on yourself you know anything to make it easier on yourself there's just two and I'm just left so fast without the water in my brush and like that like that and we will be adding just a little bit more of them you know, just here and there, just 
just add next to the one you've painted just add one more see like on the right side just add one more seed you don't have to do it everywhere right on the left side see where there is more room And there you go. Oh, this is upside down now. Okay, there we go. And I think this is the that inner part for now. And we're gonna go and do the outer border. As I said earlier, we're gonna use just a little bit of Mars Brown. like this and I will just add slight amount of water around that border like this and I'm gonna go around the border just add a little bit of clean water and I'm gonna use a little bit smaller round brush take that Mars Brown and add it just here on the border. Help it bleed a little bit like this. And we're gonna go and do the same thing around this one again. Pruette around the around our kiwi. like this and you can go upwards as much as you, outwards as much as you like it won't bleed that much like this and again a little bit smaller brush pick up some of that Mars Brown and just go around and let that paint bleed slightly Upwards and just a little bit more, and I will add it on just on top of it a little bit more saturated Mars Brown. you want you can smudge it a little bit to well to help it bleed a little bit more doesn't matter if it, if it goes outside the the lines where the that skin should be you want it to make it a little bit looser so it's nice for it just to bleed a little bit more than it maybe should like this and we can also do the same thing here just let that paint bleed slightly and here just add you know a couple of like this lines why not why not why not why not and well just I think this part is now dry those greens and we're gonna add just a little bit of sap green in that part just take a little bit of sap green and just add it like this. Just top it in like this. And go a little bit on the outside. And we'll 
just pick it up a little bit. Like this. And then the land. There you go. And if you see in your, if you see that your border is maybe now too, too light, you can always add. So of course, when it dries, it's a bit lighter. So you can always add some sap green in those, on the edges. Also of your kiwi. Like this. Just smudge it. There you go. I will now try this. Now we did lose a little bit of those white parts. So I will go in between the those seeds and again pick up some paint. go and we're gonna use just a little bit of white gouache now and add it as some highlights here and there like this on our kiwis you know and I'm just using using that white gouache straight from the tube I did not I did not water it and in this in these parts you know that is nearer to our edge of the kiwi we're just using that white gouache just adding a couple of see those are some reflections i would say or shines from the light that it's shining on them and it just well since it is wet kiwi is right moist and juicy it has this and some couple of maybe on our also seeds just to give them some light you know when you're painting eyes and just adding that white it just gives that moist look and shine from the light and that's it that's it and we're gonna just do of course a couple of splatters in that sap green we used like this and also couple in primary yellow then it doesn't matter if it goes on my kiwi that's also fine and maybe smudge some And I think this is it. This is it. We're now done with our kiwi. And well, we can just remove those, just leave it to dry just a little bit. Maybe I could just dry it. Okay, I dried it. See how thin this paper is. And we're done. So 
Well, I hope you like this one. This was fairly easy. I hope you will try it. Try to sketch it yourself and then try to paint it. I think it was very fun and loose kiwi painting. And well, guys, thank you a lot for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it, comment. And if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel. It would really, really mean a lot to me. And well, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.